This is just about the last, uh, well, it's the second to the last uh, process on this uh, little cafe racer, and so we're getting really close. So let's go ahead and mount the fender now, the rear fender. Now, if you'll notice, we gave you this uh, sheet of black uh, sticky stuff here in your, in your kit. What we're going to do, we're going to apply this to this area here. The reason for that is um, if you ever run through water, get caught in rain or whatever, this will seal this up through here so water won't come up and hit the back of your seat. So grab your sticker, your butt, and your tape, either electrical tape, masking tape, whatever, and we'll show you how to install this. If you'll notice, I've laid the sticker on the uh, butt here. Now, don't get too close to the top here, it may show, so I, I'd say about a half an inch from the top. Now, we want to kind of center this on there so it's nice and straight on the butt there. So equal amounts of distance here and equal amounts of distance here and here and here. So what I've done, I've gone ahead and taped one side, just hold it down like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and put a little piece of tape on this side. Make sure, like I say, make sure it's nice and centered. Kind of pull the decal that way if you can. Okay, it looks like it's nice and centered around here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to peel this off and stick this on. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just peel the uh, top edge off like this. Peel that down. I'm going to cut maybe, oh, two and a half or three inches off that. Just go ahead and cut that. Okay, then I'm going to just carefully push this with my fingers right, just very gently. Okay, that's stuck right there. Then I'll be back. Okay, I've removed the masking tape. Now I'm going to uh, show you how to put the rest of this on there. Okay, I've folded that paper like that and I've pushed, gently pushed that down. Now I'm going to pull the rest of the masking off. Okay, I've pulled that down in the inside. You can put a little pressure as you pull that one. Then I'll be back. Okay, it's gone on quite well. Uh, now this doesn't have to be real pretty through here at all, but I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I've got a lot of bubbles in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and just poke some, a pin in there in spots. See if I can squeeze a lot of that air out of there. Go ahead and do that, and then uh, get this as smooth as you can. And that's it. This is the main purpose, like I say, it's not for looks, it's just to seal the water off. This is ready to mount on your motorcycle. This is how you mount the uh, side horizontal or vertical license plate mount on the bike. It's real, real simple. All you do is you just tuck it under here like this. You have to slide the wire out of the way. Slide that under there like that until they line up. And then put your two mounting screws in there. And that's it. Go ahead and snug that up and it's there. If you didn't do it before, let's go ahead and tighten these up now. Make sure you use a little bit of a Loctite on there. And then snug those up really nicely because we don't want those coming loose as you're riding. Then we'll go ahead and put the rear fender on. Let's go ahead and mount the uh, cafe fender or the cafe butt as I call it. Now use the screws here, these three screws. Now if you're going to use the uh, license plate on the back, if you're going to use this license plate bracket, then 
we're going to have to just temporarily mount it. So maybe just use two screws. And then when you uh, use the uh, screws, there's a little washer that comes with the, with the screws, a little nylon washer. Use that if you can because that'll prevent the uh, paint from chipping around the edge of the screws when you put those screws in there. You don't want to ruin this nice paint job. So you can mount it permanently if you're going to use the side mount. If you're going to use the uh, license plate on the back, then just temporarily mount it because we're going to have to take it off again after we drill the holes. Okay, go ahead and insert the uh, light in the hole, just like that. Now what we want to do is we want to have the holes this side to this side, not, not up and down. So we're going to have to mount them like this, side to side. So hold that as straight as you can. And then with the drill that we gave you in the kit, the drill bit, go ahead and uh, just line that up so it's straight across. Then hold that. Then very carefully drill through that hole and into the aluminum. Now what I do is I just drill in a little ways to make a mark, a good mark, and then I'll pull this out. Okay, then what I do is I lay my hand on there like this. So as you drill through and it, and it breaks through, it won't uh, jab through and screw up your paint. So go ahead and just hold your hand there and then I don't go too too high an RPM. Just go a little bit slower and steady steady as you go drill through. That way it won't wobble around. So drill the one hole and then we'll show you how to drill the next one. Okay, I put the screw in the hole. So go ahead and put the screw in there and that'll hold that side stationary. And then go ahead and hold that centered again. And go ahead and do the same thing on this side. That way when you get finished these two will line up. Okay, if you're going to use the uh, side mount license plate, then this light is ready to mount. Now do me a favor, and in your kit, you've got these little sealing washers. There's steel on one side, rubber on the other. Just go ahead and put, push those over the screws so the, uh, the rubber side is against the light. Okay, that way when we mount the light, it won't sit on this flange. If you over tighten it, it could crack it, so that'll space it away. And then also when you mount this, make sure the wire is going up. So go ahead and mount that light on there using the uh, nylock water, or nuts that we give you in the kit. And then we'll uh, show you how to hook up the uh, license plate on the back. Okay, we want to go ahead and mount the license plate to the, to the butt here uh, using the regular nuts and screws. And if you sit on the bench like that after you get it screwed on there, it should sit flat here and flat here. I'll show you the underside. I've used the regular nuts, they're a lot faster just to go ahead and screw up there. Make it kind of snug, and like I say, double check it. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and drill a hole. Just match drill that hole right there. Oh, and you'll really notice too, make sure that this, uh, the license plate is on the butt like this. It should be mounted like that to the butt end there. So I'm going to go ahead and drill this hole right now. Okay, in your kit we gave you uh, three long screws and two short ones. There's one extra of each, so don't worry about that if you have one left over. But anyway, we want to mount this screw right here, the one you just drilled, using the shorter screw. And then make sure that you use the nylock nut, the locking nut on the bottom. And go ahead and cinch that one up good and snug there. Don't break it off, but go ahead and cinch that up. And then we'll go ahead and mount the uh, tail light while the butt is off the bike. Okay, go ahead and insert the screws in there and use these, uh, there again, we'll use this little sealing washer with the, ru this, the rubber on the back and then the metal on the front. Go ahead and shove these so the metal is up and the rubber is against the light on these two, two screws there. The reason for this is we want to space this away from the screw and also from the, uh, from the bike itself so it doesn't crack the plastic. So go ahead and do that and we'll mount it on the bike. Okay, now one quick note, uh, go ahead and put your wire tie, we, we explained this earlier, but go ahead and put a wire tie through the hole like that and run the end all the way against the, uh, the housing like that. I'll show you from this side. So loop that through there ahead of time because once we put the light on, we can't get the wire tie in there. Now we can go ahead and mount the light. Okay, I've mounted everything, I've mounted the tail light, the license plate mount, and uh, don't get too carried away, just, uh, just lightly on the torque on those. Use the nylock nuts, but don't get too carried away because that's plastic. And then uh, you'll notice the bottom. Okay, there's the nylock nuts there. 
nylock nuts all the way around, wires running up through the wire tie. Hey, and we're ready to mount this bad boy. Before I mount this, I'm going to hook the wire ties uh, around here. Just leave them loose so we can run the other wires through. Make sure you run the uh, signal light wire through the wire ties, but leave those loose. It'll be easier to do it now than when the butt's on there. And there you have it. Uh, okay, what I did is I ran the tail light uh, wires up, up kind of high and over to this side and through and into the compartment. And then the uh, license plate light, you run to the left side and over into the compartment. So left side, a license, right side, tail light. Run those into the uh, compartment there and then double check everything. Make sure everything's snug. And then go ahead and s don't forget to suck up your wire ties underneath there. Make sure all those wires are uh, not in the way of the tire because the tire will actually come up into that fender a little bit. So make sure those wires are out of the way. Okay, and there you have it. I'll double check all those connections too. Make sure everything's really tight and kind of neat and tidy in there. We're just about finished with this bike.